Welcome to one of Philadelphia's scenic transit tunnels. It's PAX Saturday. Yeah, that's the big day. Yeah. So that's why we've decided. We, we were very good business boys yesterday. We did business the whole time. We did all sorts, all sorts of the business. <laughs> and because we were like, let's not try to do this on Saturday when everyone's busy. Yeah, today is going to be, I think, the big day. Uh, might try and get some games in. Like, I think today would be a good day to try games. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Um, also, maybe try and see if we can get in to uh, BDM's Boxing League. But first, breakfast. But first, yes, but first, breakfast. I like to visit here at a time when it's not a convention, just to experience the state of this place without quite so many people. Ooh, gingerbread houses. I think they're just saying it's non-edible. I think if you tried real hard, you could. That could be said about anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, well, I'm, 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 not, I'm not a coward. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> I've only learned what a Bialy is just now, and I want one so badly. <laughs> well, we're getting away. <laughs> I opt, despite just learning what a Bialy was and being pretty excited for it, we opt, Jesus, that's so much cream that's cheese. Wow. Excellent. This is a proper schmear as far as I'm aware. <laughs> uh, I opted for just bagel because I, I ate very heavily yesterday, and I, uh, <laughs> My body's like, no. Like the bacon, egg, and cheese Bialy sounded delicious. And I saw one and I was like, boy, that looks great. And my my stomach was like, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> so I got you. I got you for the whole day. Yeah. It's good. Very tasty. I think the going with the um the jug is a good idea. Alright. Yeah. The bagel's delicious. Let's go. Cool. The makeup of attendees from a PAX compared to a MagicCon is undeniably different. Uh, and it's it's nice to be back at a PAX. I love the MagicCons. They're great. But it's, uh, it's a slightly different vibe at a PAX. And I dig it. I played this big snake lizard. Whoa. So it can attack anything that my guys are beside. So okay. Bring it. We're playing Gundar. Oh, I'm sorry. We're playing Gundar. What? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Yeah. That's sick. I love these. I can't remember the name for this, but it's. I'm a big fan of it. Ambigrams. They're called ambigrams. There you go. The thing what reads the same upside down is downside up. This is a weird experience, getting to actually, like, Play? Play games at PAX? <laughs> yeah, usually I, I was talking to an artist uh, and they were asking like, oh, what do you what do you do? And gave him like the spiel and stuff. And I was like, typically when we come, we have a booth and panels and we're like doing all that stuff. And I don't, we don't really get to play games or, yeah. or, or do like, you know, the, the, con, the thing that people typically come to cons for. Um, this is sick. Yeah. This is great. You're just getting to talk to people, try out. I mean, this this feels like market research day. Yeah. Where we're trying out different games and stuff. Gutnack was really, really cool. Um, we Trailblazers was yeah. one of the ones that we that looked at. That one looks fun. Yeah. Both look gorgeous. Every game's got amazing art now. Yes. Yeah. When it turns out, when you license and pay artists and stuff like that to work on your game, uh, it becomes a really, really big selling point, yep. and uh, it attracts people. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, the book, the cover is the book a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, we swung by Rollacrit, who are the people that make Heroes of Arcadia. They're so cool. They were so lovely and friendly, and they'd watched our streams of it, and they gave us a bunch of nice stuff, <laughs> which was two, very sweet. Two them. tote bags full of stuff. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get to do more with them. Yeah, yeah. It's great. They're, they're super cool people. Yeah. Big shout out to Roller Crit. I 
just cool. picked up a very cool dune pin from direwolf um because because it's a really cool pin yeah also their pins are ten dollars or three for 25. wow it would have been rude not to so i got three pins we just encountered megan who is here from scotland and has scottish shortbread apparently oh wow one is the old squish peacock squad box. You, you, ma you made shortbread and then brought it all the way here? It's just green green shortbread. It's just literally just butter and sugar and then some flour and then you bake it and it becomes sort of a big cake. I love, no, I love oh. shortbread though. Yeah. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, it's like you sure, can, here. <laughs> you can like, if, if you, you can share it between yourself or you can like take we'll, home. We'll definitely bring some home for everyone. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very, very much, Megan. It's uh, it's uh, difficult to navigate the show floor uh, because there's a lot of people. It's not. I mean, I don't mean this in a bad way. Uh, Saturday is a huge jump in yeah. the amount of people in there. It was like getting through in the tabletop area was was tough. Like they're they're really crammed in there, but like. You can still move. Everybody like gets out of the way, and I, I've yet to have somebody just take up space. Yeah, which is great. We got to go back to the hotel. It's, it's like just barely gone noon, and we got to go back to the hotel and drop off all the stuff we ended up with. Um, so much swag. Yeah, we got given several new games to try, and we got the retail version of Heroes of Arcadia, and uh, it's excellent. But getting it all into our I think uh, getting it all into our luggage is going to be a interesting challenge. We're hitting the upper limit of room. I think no matter what, we'll probably have to check something. I, it's just like it's weird because we've got the quadruple lay or the triple layover situation on the way back. Yeah, doing the here to Toronto, Toronto to Vancouver, Vancouver to Victoria flight. So like my suitcase, I only brought you know t-shirt, socks, and underwear for five days. Mm -hmm. Right, so. I've got lots of room. Like, that's the lightest I've ever traveled. I didn't bring any magic cards. I didn't bring, you know, because it's not a magic con. So I'm hopeful yeah, that I can make all that stuff fit. Though we also, I've already picked up two zip-up hoodies. And you're amassing more clothes. As the, the, you're going to come back with more clothes than you have. Yeah. Strawberry water. Strawberry water. Tastes like strawberries. Is water. Oh, thank you. They're decorating the lobby for Christmas. It's that time. Nicki Minaj is in the air. Oh. Nope. Wait. Not Nicki Minaj. Mariah Carey? Yeah. Yep. Let's get some lunch. <laughs> we have successfully disposed of... Not disposed. Graham, come on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We've locked it in the vault where it can't hurt anybody anymore. We took all the stuff people had given us and we threw it into the sea. Uh, no, we put everything in the hotel room because it was my elbow was starting to starting to go from like those bags. Mm. Um, and so now we can go back and get more stuff. No, we're gonna go get some lunch and then maybe play magic or something yeah see if we can find a pod yeah. yeah there's a place uh voodoo ranger is sponsoring like a beer garden thing like at pax i want to go to that yeah i could go for that i don't think i've had a beer yet nope me neither sick turned at the con whoop, whoop. yeah we're <laughs> that kind of people yeah <laughs> i am excited for is we're going for vietnamese Yes, we're going to go. Vietnamese place. Ben found a Vietnamese place called the Vietnamese place. Yeah. Is that, that is what it's called, right? Yes. Yeah, we're okay. going to have vegetables. Real loud. Will the Philadelphians be okay with this if we yes. have vegetables? Surely. It'll be okay. Doesn't have to be all meat all the time. Yeah. My younger self would be shaking his head at me. You have the opportunity to just eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> and you went for a vegetable. I'm sorry, it's not it's not called Vietnamese place. It's called Vietnam Restaurant. <laughs> so it's just about as unbranded as that.
after MagicCon was sharing this same convention center with the gymnastics tournament, I was excited to see which decidedly not nerdy and otherwise very normal, if uh, niche event would also be in the convention center this weekend. But there doesn't seem to be one. No, it's like taking up the whole space, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Surely there could have been like a model train show. I feel like that would have still been in the same realm. Can you right? imagine the people that do like model train layouts, like a bunch of people's uncles yeah. just coming up here to check out the like Warcraft, like Warhammer terrain? Yeah, I mean, they've got a lot of like like terrain people and yeah. whatnot here too. Like, it's, it's, it's the same. It's functionally like the same kind of kind of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all share trade secrets and whatnot. Yeah. Whether it's for Tyranids or trains, we've got you covered. All right, maybe like maybe like an accountancy expo would be yeah. more. Yeah. 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 Real dull nonsense. Or like a bunch a, of a bunch of actuaries. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, uh, bird enthusiast gathering. Oh yeah, there you go. But even then, that's pretty nerdy. Hey, come up here and play wingspan. Yeah! Finally, there's a beer garden at PAX. Yeah. And just like all beer gardens, it's completely packed. It is rammed. Yeah. <laughs> it is full of folks. A lot of people playing Heroes of Arcadia. Yeah, we'll have to cry and see if we can get in there later. Thematically so, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like beer and board games. Yeah. So we'll have to see if we can sneak in at some point. Right, I'm here with another lo local. You said you're from about an hour away. Yeah. yeah okay. About an hour away. And Thanks you are. Maryland town. I'm Stephanie. Stephanie and Jason. Jason. Okay. We're trying to collect data points on what is the answer to what is the correct answer to where do you get the best cheesesteak? Um, I'm not local enough for that. <laughs> is it how how because local is this is the cheesesteak? For, so some people will say, what is it, Gino's? Some people Back say Gino's. Gino's. Yeah, okay. Gino's was the it place, apparently. But then other people are like, no, no, Gino's is like too mainstream now because everyone goes to Gino's. So now you have to find like those mom and pop cheesesteak places. And, and, and are, no one knows where they are. No one knows where they are. <laughs> okay. So you have to be like in, in downtown Philly to actually find them. Yeah. Sorry. We just killed a bunch of time at the Voodoo Ranger beer lounge thing. Just chilling. Yeah. Hashtag non spawn. Yeah, not not sponsored, though we're open to it if you're watching. It was good. It was good beer. It was fine beer, yeah. yeah, yeah. Beer. I had the Juicy Haze IPA. That's what I had. No, you had the Juice Force. <laughs> the, the, right. the Imperial IPA. Juice Force. Juice Force. Uh, yeah, no, it was good. Yeah. And now uh, we have just enough time, hopefully to head to Reading Terminal Market for a very quick snack and a coffee before we do the uh, boxing league. Huh, magic event. Oh, it's so much quieter outside. <laughs> Shockingly. This is nice. Yeah. This is, this is really nice. Yeah, get uh, recaffeinated. The only, the only thing yeah. is we're looking at the app yeah. that this commander event is a three round Swiss. I feel like that can't isn't be. accurate. That can't be. That right. can't be accurate. <laughs> I'm convinced we have time to get a coffee before this event, but it's going to depend largely on the lineup. Hopefully, most people are here for dinner. That's my hope. Uh, coffee acquisition successful. I didn't film any of it because it was absolutely rammed and it was difficult to navigate. Also, I got minced meat pie from one of the Amish bakeries because they'll be closed tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. It's warm in here. It's very warm in here. Yeah. And we opted for the warm latte. To be fair, this is one of the best eggnog lattes I've had. I don't know how cold eggnog latte would be. Probably fine. Like, it's very steamed milky, but... I guess? I don't know. Just like cold brew coffee and eggnog? Yeah. Well... I may have to experiment with this when we get home. Yeah. We can build some uh, Commander Seal decks. Yeah, now we are at the red gathering point. Ah! Oh. There we go. It literally just popped up. Oh. Table 41. Table 40. So upside, Ben and I found our tables. Downside, our tables don't have chairs. And yeah. I can hold this for not even that amount of time. No, I have. No, I have not recovered from Desert Bus squats. 
I don't want to go do any. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm, Fair enough. I'm, I'm just unathletic. <laughs> I don't want to go steal another chairs because then we're just making problems for other people to get chairs. Yeah, it becomes a cascading problem at that yeah. point. Yeah. But I like to cause problems. All right, Ben's going to go cause problems on purpose. Brian, what is this? So we're doing Commander Boxing League today. It's my favorite way to play Magic. It is uh, where you build a deck out of a set pool of cards. You know, I normally do this with like a draft booster box or I guess a play, what do they call play boosters now? Yeah. Uh, I'll do it with a play booster box in the future. And you get a really cool look at a set where you're, uh, you're, you're, you're doing all the different things. I have a really powerful Lord of the Rings deck that I built like that, but what we're doing for this event, and we're doing it like all the Magic Cons, is we've been doing this like curated chaos. So where we have packs like Commander of Legends and Baldur's Gate and Dungeons and Dragons and mystery boosters, you know, with play test cards in them. And you're gonna build a deck. It's gonna be a legal commander deck. You can have it as your commander deck in your sort of assortment of things. It's and it's it's just super fun. It's the way you, you played Magic when you started. I'm so excited the pool of available packs is already sick. I'm I'm opening such cool cards, like instantly. I, I went with the Commander, uh, the with the Commander Legends Collector one to start with, just because it looks fancy pantsy. Uh, and I'm already liking like multiple cool colors. Everybody looks cool. This is going to be impossible. This is going to be harder, I think, than a regular seal, just because it's like, I want to do all the things. It's, it's, it's really difficult. Ultimately, you're going to find a commander that you love. Yeah. And you're just going to make it work. Cards. Trimble Kratos is in this. Oh, what? These are for the build? These are for the build. What? <laughs> don't stop coming and I don't stop LCI coming. set boosters, holy moly. I've been wanting to build this guy for so long. I don't know if like limited it, or limited commander is the way to go about it, but it's like kind of funny group hug where I just get to give people some salamander warriors and I have protection from those warriors and stuff. But, you know what, when, when there's like no stakes involved in, in, in just fun league kind of stuff, maybe this is the way to do it. Maybe from a small pool of cards, this is the way to build this guy. Just goofy, fun stuff on the short list. On the flip side, uh, I'm opening like really well. He's got Cavern of Souls, he's got D2. I got a demonic tutor. Uh, black market connections like some some dollary dudes but yeah i might just keep this together as what it is because i think i think what bdm was saying is the correct thing like you don't need to have a conversation about power level you don't need to talk about what's what just say this is my league sealed pool commander deck and that just does the talking for you i haven't opened anything like blindingly spicy yet god tier but oh command tower he's broken this whole meta wide open uh, but I've opened some very cool stuff, and I don't know. I think there's gonna there's gonna be so many cards that I think it comes down to just like pick a commander that don't speaks to you. Whoa! Don't stop commenting. Bahamut, the Grandmaster of Flowers. All right. Why can't I open this well on regular sealed? No kidding. Anyway, I think the plan is find a commander you like and uh, just sort of go with that. And I'm opening a lot of commanders. Check back with me shortly. So Brian, where do you put the, um, the, like, how do you rank the value of like a multicolored commander that is potentially powerful and does good stuff to the men to the the mental relief of going. I'm going with this monocolor commander, so I can ignore four of these enormous piles of cards. I, so it the so I did I did bo I built both of those decks out of my last boxing league. Okay. So I built a Maelstrom Wanderer deck, 
Right. Three colors, best up. And then I built an Ash in the Pilgrim deck with 99 mountains. So that one was really easy. <laughs> I just got to ignore everything. How, how have they been playing out for you? Uh, the, the Maelstrom Wander deck's been super cool. Okay. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, I, the problem I find with the monocolor decks is that you end up just playing at the bottom of your card pool. Right. Some cards you don't really want to play. So like you generally want to be at least two colors in this format. Okay. But partner's really good for that. If you know if there's a monocolored, uh, there's a lot of monocolored partner. Right. Partners. And this doesn't have the thing like in Commander Masters where monocolored commanders have partner. It's got to say partner on it. it. It does have to say partner on it. But we're here to have fun. And if someone was like, I really don't can't build a deck I want to build, and I want to do this, I would let them. I would say it's okay. That's we fair. sort of you know rule zero it, but. Um, but I, I want people to come away from this with a deck that is actually a commander deck okay. that they can carry forward from this event. I'll probably build Sidisi then. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking about Asturian because I got a very cool edged foil Asturian, but then you wiped it through some water. So <laughs> I decided I would give you a hard time about that, actually, because it was funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. You didn't know. <laughs> it took like an hour and a half to build this deck. Yeah, there was a lot of magic cards. There's so many magic cards. What did you settle on? Uh, so we got handed all of our stuff. Yeah. And all the things looked really cool. It was all of my favorite sets and whatnot. And then they came by later and dropped off like three packs of LCI on top of it. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, OK, this is sweet. Uh, and the very last pack that I opened had this fancy new Sahili. Uh, and she just seems kind of neat and cool. So I'm just doing like red, blue, Enter the battlefield effects. Nice. A lot of my like cool rares that I got and stuff um, were in black. But yep, same. I didn't really have a lot of cool things in there, but uh, I do have some very fun red rares. Oh, like okay. Uh, oh, okay. Enter the Motherload. <laughs> uh, Descent into Avernus. <laughs> so just some really good. This is going to be goofy artifacts and yeah. ETB effects. Sweet. What about you? Uh, BDM was like, you should play Sidisi, mm. and I agree. He's got a vested interest in them. Sidisi's great, to be fair, and I was like, yeah, I was probably going to do that anyway. And I opened a lot of really good black, certainly like stuff that works with Sidisi, like the milling and things. In my last pack of the Lost Caverns, I opened Bringer of the Last Gift, which is like the living death. Uh, and then the Aklazots and the Blood Letter of Aklazots. Three. Oh yeah, three you're black a... rares. Yeah. In the LCI one, so it's it's heavy black Sidisi. But I also got all three on color diamonds and one of each mana elf. Sick. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, I'm excited about this. This will be fun. No shot. We're getting in six games today. No. I don't even think we can get in six games, period, th for the weekend. We can figure it out. But we can try. So it's now uh, like quarter after eight. Commander Jazz Ham. Yeah. It was fun. We played with uh, Matt and Luke, who mm -hmm. both... Very nice. Nice nice folks. Knew, yeah. who, knew who Loading Ready Run was, both of them. So that was that was nice. They were the, uh, the really cat, cool about it. The cat the, from LCI. Oh, the, Kutzel. The Kutzel. They, they were great. Yeah. What an impressive uncommon. Kutzel draws a lot of cards. Yeah, yeah. It was very cool, especially when you split who you're attacking. And yeah. Stuff. It was very good. So thanks very much to BDM for putting that event together. Getting that hook up. So now we're here with Min, pharmacist judge, who's on the phone, and we're gonna go and get Our some official official handler. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go looking for some food uh, somewhere. Eight thirty at night, Saturday downtown. Let's do our best. Let's go. What do we have to do to get chosen as guest of the day? What did Haley do? I assume we have to not stink up the room with QQ Mart ramen oh. as a start. Whoops. All right. Well, we were in there shit look. They should most the moment we step foot in here. <laughs> Do not littering. This area is under camera. Violators minimum three hundred dollars. Oop, and the light turned off. Let's go. So we quickly took stock of what we knew of in the area, which is very little, and we're trying to figure out where we should eat. And we were like, well, we're right by Chinatown, and you know what always has space is family style Chinese. We ate there. We did that twice last time we were here. Yeah. 
So Go to we're the music bar. Yeah, we're heading back to Yi Pin Barbecue Szechuan Music Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they play more Cruel Angels thesis. I hope they put it on and then turn it off the moment we try to sing along. <laughs> to be fair, there was like 12 of us last time. Yeah. It's a lot more subdued. Yes. So fingers We'll just, we'll just mutter it under our breath. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. I'm going to have some duck. Ah. Probably. I don't know. Ben and I were discussing earlier. We're big duck. Big, big, big duck enjoyers. <laughs> I'm a any, duck enthusiast, I would any, say. Any duck enjoyers in the comments? Sound off. <laughs> How was Yi Pin Barbecue Szechuan Restaurant, Music Restaurant, Mart Round 2? Good. I am full. Yep. I wish there was a wheelbarrow service that you could just kind of... Instead, instead, all I could get was this tuba player to play as I walk. <laughs> oh. I thought there was going to be a tuba. <laughs> yeah, great. <good. laughs> Dinner is completed and we are full of duck. Yeah. Wait, we already said that. We did that part. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, now we're walking back to... We're, we're here. We're at the hotel. That's it. That was That was Saturday. Uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. It seemed like it disappeared very quickly. Yeah. But it was a good day that ended with some magic, and then after the magic, it ended with uh, dinner with uh, with Min, and it was great. Min so, even treated us because he's because he's very nice, a sweetheart. So thank you. And now we're gonna go uh, to bed again. Yeah. Like humans do. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. More packs. Yeah. We thought we weren't going to do any business today, and we kind of did. Yeah, so, so maybe there'll be even more, more business, business tomorrow. tomorrow. More business, more business. Okay, good night. Sleep.